Today I'm going to introduce you to four new bushcraft tools you haven't heard of yet. These knives and saws are made by Olfa Works in Japan. So Olfa Works has been around since the 50s making tools for cutting with an emphasis on durability and edge retention. And they're now making bushcraft knives and saws and they are just awesome. Let me show you. First up in their line is the Sanga knife. It has an overall length of 9.13 inches with a blade length of 4.13 inches. The blade shape is a lot narrower than most knives and that's going to help with detail work and piercing. So I mentioned that Ulfa is known for their edge retention and on the Sanga knife they actually ground it with a convex edge. That's going to give it a lot more durability and edge retention because you've got a lot more meat in the cross section of that blade profile. So it's not going to chip out as easy. The blade is 3.2 millimeters thick, so it's nice and beefy, but not too thick so that you can't really get some good detail work when you're cutting. The blade is made from high carbon 13CR stainless steel, so it won't rust on you. The handle is polypropylene with a rubberized insert, so you can get a very, very good grip on the knife. It's not going to slip out of your hands. I really love this handle. So the unsharpened part of the blade, called the tang, is uh, sticking out right down here. That's kind of a flex. They want you to know that this is a full tang knife. This is not like a partial rat tang knife or something like that. It's going to break. So you can actually baton with this knife as well, which is really nice. So that is the Sanga Bushcraft Knife by Olfa Works. Next up in their line is the Bushcraft Saw. This one has got me so excited because I usually carry folding saws with me and they're still pretty good size but this thing is really small but very capable so when it's all closed up it's a little over seven and a quarter inches long and then to open it you just release the ratchet right here and you slide it up and then you ratchet it back down again that locks the blade in place this is a Japanese pull saw design it has got some really nice teeth on it they're fine teeth but it removes a lot of stock very quickly and very accurately which is kind of fun if you're doing some detail work or you're carving you just want something that's going to really make a nice fine cut then this is what you're going to want to have then this is a great saw it's got a polypropylene handle rubberized inserts again so it's very very easy to grip uh, they've got some like rubber jimping on the back of the handle here which is really nice for thumb purchase when you're sawing and probably one of the best features is this blade is replaceable so that when it gets dull you just swap it out so you can basically rebuild the saw for sixteen dollars and you have a brand new saw again and here's that replacement blade super easy to replace the blade all you gotta do is loosen the clutch pop it out the back and there you go pop the new blade in it hook the blade back in tighten the clutch back down and you're ready to go like literally under a minute you can change the blade out and they've got a shock cord lanyard on it which is really a nice touch because you can put that around your wrist and while you're sawing you can keep control of the tool it's about 11 and a quarter inches long when it's fully extended and just under seven and a quarter when you retract the blade for size comparison here's the Sanga knife so between these two tools you've got an absolutely amazing bushcraft starter kit here another really great design they came up with is the utility camp knife this thing is very very slim and it's got a knurled wheel here that's made of brass and look at that isn't that just an awesome blade shape it's got a lot of utility here you can actually use this to puncture isobutane propane canisters when they're empty you can use this to puncture a hole in the canister so you can recycle it and if you got a hot cup of coffee on your camp stove you just hook this on like that and you can pick it off of fire so really super useful little hook on the end of this and they've got a little bit of a serration right here in the middle middle part of the blade that's going to help cut through heavy rope things that are very stubborn this is going to excel at cutting through rope line this weighs only 1.87 ounces so there's really no excuse not to take this with you in your pocket you can hardly notice that it's in your pocket because it's very very slim the blade is high carbon stainless steel it's 420 stainless so it's not going to rust on you and it's got a steel frame you're not going to deform it or bend it uh, by sitting on it funny or something like that it's, it's very very strong very robust and you can get replacement blades for it so this is what the replacement blades look like so what I like about it is that you can move the blade in and out only what you need. So if you just need to slice open a box really quick or cut a very small piece of line, just bring out the blade a little bit. You don't need anything more than that. Or if you need to get into some heavy cutting and open up that blade all the way, get that serration in there. Or if you need to get that pot off the fire or pop a hole in a canister, then there you go. Bring the blade all the way out. Right now this camp knife is selling for $24. So it's a very, very reasonable knife for something so useful. And this is the outdoor utility knife. Before you say you don't need one, let me tell you why this is special. It's got a very unique wave polishing shape to the blade and that's gonna help cut through 
really stubborn materials like plastic and stuff like that. If you're gonna be cutting through a bottle, um, cutting through some heavy line, this thing is going to rip through it. You can buy replacement blades for this as well. A three pack of replacement blades is $8. The knife right now sells for $25, and it has a little pick on the end of it that you can use to do a variety of things, like open paint cans or use it as a flat bladed screwdriver. Really an awesome utility blade to have around if you're gonna be skinning animals or processing food, cutting a lot of line, opening boxes. There you go, you've got it. So those are the four bushcraft tools you probably haven't heard of yet. I wanna welcome Ulfa to the US market. You're gonna be able to get these from their Amazon store now. The link is in my description below. Check them out, it's really good stuff. Made in Japan, very high quality. Hope you found that useful, or at least entertaining. We'll see you later.